Not on one word. Amazing. Mm. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. That was nice. Thank you. You're getting emotional now. Why are you crying? I think um, it's funny. It's like in a good way. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Hmm. It's a good thing. I know. Because mentally, there's a rewind that happens. It's like, so it's like intense. And you just look. At like all the kind of people you meet and then you're just like the world is like vicious <laughs> but it's also I'll tell you why I cry because I think about like other people like girls that maybe went through the same thing as me and probably gave up like it's so easy to give up and I think about the kind of people I met who really brought me down, not in India, everywhere, even in Canada, you know, when I was just hustling. And I look and I go, haram, like if any girl or even a guy would have gone through that, they would have just been shattered. They would have lost hope. Yani, like if a human loses hope, it's the worst thing. It's the worst thing. And I keep thinking, I'm like, that even 50% of the things I went through, if another girl or guy went through that and they lost hope, that would have been one more person in the world that we would have lost. Could have been a great person. They could have made an impact in the world. They could have made a difference in the yeah. world. And I wish parents would instill hope and confidence and prepare them for what's out there and I wish our school system did the same thing because everything I learned in school didn't help me for the real world mm -hmm. metaphorses and and what type of rocks there are in the world and you know what happens when the the plant hits the sun at 4 p.m that shit didn't help me yeah. for the jungle and I always think about the necessary about like the necessity of your upbringing at home instead of our uh, parents like when I say our I say globally anybody instead of them being so no, don't do this don't wear this don't go out don't talk to this don't do this study don't watch this don't instead of being like that I wish they would prepare them for the world, prepare them for marriage, prepare them for what it is to be uh, with another human, what it is to share a life with another human, prepare them for what it is to, uh, to, 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 to work, to go and work for yourself and to create an identity. Prepare, prepare them for the workforce. The workforce is not an easy place. The kind of things women and men face, we don't, we're not prepared for that. And two things happen, either they ruin you for life or they make you for life. But most of the time, they ruin you for mm. life. They break you, they ruin your personality, your charisma, your aura, they make you negative. And you are the same person who will have kids and you will inject that negativity to the next lot. Yeah. You know, I think about this every day. So I think about this whole journey I told you, I think about the whole thing and I'm like, SubhanAllah, how God written all that for me, for this. And how we are like literally nothing. We have no control of what is written for us and why things happen for us. And